Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it has been a hot minute or a long minute. I just, I've just been busy. I haven't really known what to post. I haven't been doing too much shopping and I've been trying to save some money, which I think I brought up in one of my last videos if you've watched it. But, mind the traffic. But recently I have been to Kmart. I believe I've been on two occasions um, and they've got some really, really cute stuff out the, at the moment. So I'm just going to do a really little haul. I haven't got too much stuff, just a few items of clothes. There's some um, jewelry, candles, home stuff, everything. So I just want to show you guys what I bought um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. But like I said, I don't really know what to post anymore. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see from me, please let me know. I'm more than open to everything. So I thought I'd start off more with kind of like the knick-knacky collection of things that I have bought um, and show you all of that stuff first. So a couple of months into this year, I... oh, my dog squeaking his toy. Anyway, so a couple months into this year, I thought it would be really good to get kind of like a month calendar to hang up in the kitchen, uh, which is like an open space downstairs so we can see what we've got on for the month and keep track of everything. I happened to stumble across this one in Kmart, which I think is super cute. Of course, it's from Kmart, Kmart Hall. But look at that one. So you've got all your months already on there. So the one that I have at the moment, sorry about the glare i just don't want to take that off because i don't want it to get all dirty and gross before i need it next year um but yeah i thought this was really really good it's got the spirals so you just flip it over or rip pages out and it's got a little hook built in too it has all the numbers already in there for next year the one i had currently it was just kind of like blank and you have to pop all the numbers in and everything the one i have as well it already had columns like this which is really good um and on the back yeah again sorry for plastic but you can kind of just get an overview of like what all the different designs for each month are going to look like. I thought it was super cute. Next, I did buy some jewellery. Um, I have always thought that Kmart jewellery has been a bit hit and miss. And I always thought that it was quite cheap. But recently, I bought two things. And they've actually been really, really nice. Um, some are some, One is a pack of earrings, sorry. And I've been wearing one set literally every day. So these here are the earrings. I think they're super adorable. The ones in the middle that kind of oh, drop down, if you can see, not really. But these ones here, I've been wearing them every day. They're so cute. And then you've just got this little set here with some white beads and gold. And these little shells are also super adorable with the starfish. And honestly, these are $5 for this pack of three. And I know some people have very sensitive ears and things. Um, I'm one of those people usually. And I can't have cheap jewellery because it ends up irritating my ears. But these actually, like I said, I've been wearing this pair in the middle every day. And I've had no issues actually. So it's been really good. So secondly, I got this necklace. I have already taken the backing off of it. It might show up reversed for you. Uh, but it's just a star sign necklace. So it says Capricorn, which is my star sign. I really liked the font that it was in um, and they had these for all the star signs as well. Usually I can never find mine so I was glad that they had mine still available. I think this was the only one there. Um, but yeah again this was like five dollars. So I think this will be super cute. Can't wait to wear that. So moving on I know Kmart has a makeup brand and I'm just looking at it here. It's OXX Cosmetics. I've never really tried them out before. Um, I do buy most of my makeup from Sephora or from Mecca. I do use those brands mostly or a lot of drugstore makeup too um, from like Priceline. But I thought I'd give this a go because I have been looking everywhere for a lip oil. I know Dior does one and it's kind of expensive and Nivea has brought one out, but it's only in the US. I can't find it anywhere in Australia. I know there's a couple of other brands that have them too, but they're expensive as well. And I'd rather kind of try a cheap one just to see if I like it first before spending more money. I know with saying that though, it will not be the same kind of quality as the higher priced products. So I bought this one from Kmart. I keep saying from Kmart, everything is from Kmart. But I got this one 
Mm, this way. There we go. So it focuses. No. There we go. Good well. Um, and it's this nudie shade and it's got this glitter flex in it. I have used it. It does look really, really nice when it's on. Does not last long at all. And I find once it wears off, my lips are so, so, so dry. So I'm not sure if that's what happens with other lip oils. If anybody has experience with the higher end brands than this, let me know because I am interested in them because I love the look. Love it. All right, so I did, of course, pick up some candles. Um, it is October now, so Halloween is coming up. I know in Australia it's not a very big thing, but I still like to decorate the house a little bit. Nobody in our area does trick-or-treating or anything like that. It's not really too common. Um, but I've got these two cute little skull candles. These were like $3.50 each. So I was really hoping they glow in the dark. I'm not too sure if they do because where I have them usually, because I haven't burnt them yet, I'm so, I don't really want to burn them because they're just so cute. But I could always buy more. They're cheap. Um, oh my God, I'm getting so off topic. But anyway, they're not scented. They're just wax candle. Um, I do need a plate to put them on as well if I do want to burn them. But I just thought that they were super adorable. Look at their little skulls. They only had these two colours as well. But yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if they glow in the dark. They honestly look like they might, but I feel like that's very unlikely because it is candle. And I guess you burn them anyway. Yeah, they're really cute. So they have also bought out some Christmas stuff at the moment and I am the biggest fan of Christmas. It is basically my favourite holiday of the whole year. Absolutely love it. Lights on the house, decorate everything. Such a good time. And of course, I have to have Christmas candles to go with that time of year. Over here in Australia, though, it is summer, so it's not really kind of that winter vibe, um, but I still do love all the Christmassy scents. So they've brought out this candle, and I saw it, like I said, I've been now on two separate occasions. Once was only the other day, and the time before was maybe oh, a week or so ago. And I found this candle. I found it a week or so ago, that first trip I went, and... There were heaps, heaps on the shelf. I didn't buy it. It looked so cute and it smelled amazing. I didn't buy it. I then stopped in Kmart, not for an actual shop, just at a different location as well, just because I needed to pick up something really, really quickly. And I was like, oh, I really want those candles. Um, I'll go see if they have them. They had them and they only had two left. I have seen this candle now go viral on TikTok and I think everybody has bought them. And so I bought those two. They're $10 each and they are the cutest thing ever. So this is it here. It's a Christmas cookie scented candle and like look at all the sprinkles around the bottom. It's adorable. And let's look at a little cork for the lid and oh, it honestly, this smells incredible. Like I'm not usually too big on like heavy vanilla sweet cookie scents just because it can become too much. But I think specifically for Christmas time, this will be great. I feel bad for buying the last two because there's literally none anywhere now. Like I said, I went the other day and that was when they had that full stocked shelf previously. Not one. I could not find one of these anywhere. So I'm so happy I bought two. The other one that I have though, some of the sprinkles on the bottom have started to come off. I'm not too fussed because literally it still is adorable and it smells so good. So if you do stop in a Kmart, and if they do have any of these, smell it, you will buy it, guaranteed. And they will sell out again so quickly if they do restock them. On the note of Christmas, like I said, they brought out Christmas stuff, which means clothing and pet accessories. So um, I had to pick up something for my dog, Frank. So I'll show you here. Um, I'll also insert some clips of him wearing these too, because it's just too adorable. Now I couldn't decide between the two. So I got him this little Santa hat which I think is so cute. It's got an adjustable little elastic on it with this, like I said, adjustable. I don't know what you call that, but honestly, so cute. He's only got a real little head because he's a sausage dog. So I got him the size small. I think that's the front there. It sits like that. Like I said, I'll show you him wearing these. They're so cute. And then I couldn't help myself because they were both four, these were both $4 each. This other one I'll show you too. Look at these little antlers. They're so cute. Look at them. Sorry, I'm just trying to not be behind them so you can actually see the colour. 
but they're adorable again they've just got this elastic and they've got holes on the side for like floppy eared dogs so you can poke them through which i thought was really really good or at least i think that's what those holes are for i put frank's ears through them but this one gets even better and it lights up look at that and you can change it and then off i think they're so cute and for four dollars there's so much pet christmas stuff out at the moment toys um costumes everything they've even got some um little pet christmas gift boxes all ready to go with like toys bowls things like that um so yeah if you like spoiling your dog or your cat maybe go have a look <laughs> you're so cute look at you Oh, hey, buddy. My little reindeer. Look at him, he's so cute. Should we light you up? Oh. <laughs> Such a good boy. And the last non-clothing item that I do want to show you is, and this is going to be so random, is this gigantic drink bottle. <laughs> so apparently they also do them in kind of a pink purple ombre, but my Kmart did not have any of those. They only had this one. I didn't even know they did it in the pink until I was walking around the store with this and a lady came up to me and asked if they had any pink. And I said, no, but I didn't even know they came in pink. I was just happy with this. I think it's a nice color. So this is a two liter bottle. I don't struggle to drink water, but I find if I don't have it in a big, easy, accessible bottle or container, I will drink less. So if I have like a small glass, I'll just sip on that throughout the whole day rather than having something big like this. I think it's great. It's got a handle here so you can hold it there. It's also got another strap here. And then it's got this push button, which if you flip this up, it locks it and it won't open. Flip it down opens and it has a straw which is honestly the best thing ever and it goes all the way down to the bottom but yeah i think this is really good i think it was only 11 or 14 dollars something like that but yeah stay hydrated oh I was sitting on my knees that whole time and now i literally can't bend my ankles or straighten my knees out properly it hurts so bad i think i'm going to have to get a better setup for videos this is just the most light i have in the house i like using natural light because i think it looks better as well bear with me all right i'm standing up now i feel a lot better my legs are still a bit sore definitely don't sit like that for a long amount of time but again sticking with the christmas theme that i just went with I did buy some Christmas pajamas, of course. I wanted to be nice and cozy and festive for the season. So I have two pairs. Um, I'll try them on and show you now. All right, so first pair are these ones. Um, I got this in a size eight. I probably could have got a 10 if I wanted it to be a bit baggier. Um, however, this is like a super stretchy material. So I reckon once you're just lounging around in it or in bed, it will stretch anyway. It's got this super cute little doggy on the front and it says, mummy because i am a dog mum of course um i wish i had a sausage dog like frank but he's still cute anyway he's got a little hat and a wreath around his neck and then the little shorts they have all different kinds of dogs on them all different ones and they even have cats on there too so oh i think it's so cute i forget how much this was i have the tag on i feel like it was between 12 and 20 dollars for this set that comes together but honestly, so adorable, super comfortable. Like I said, if you like to be comfy in bed with loosely fitting things, just size up, obviously, because this fits quite snugly around my arms. But as I said, super stretchy. So I reckon once you start lounging around, oh, don't. anyway, once you start lounging around, they'll definitely stretch. But yeah, please don't mind this. I just haven't cut any of the tags and all this kind of stuff off in it but just ignore that that's not there cute all right so this is the second pair that i've got again same price this one however i did size up you can see that it is a lot looser the sleeves are a lot longer 
the shorts come up quite high, but it is a lot bigger. The main reason I sized up in this one is because it's not the same cotton stretchy fabric. It's more of like a linen blend, which aren't super stretchy at all. So I wanted to get something bigger so I'd be comfortable. This is so breathable and so cool. So it'll be really good for summer because it, well, Christmas is in summer over here and it literally can get up to 40 degrees Celsius. So like over hundred degrees Fahrenheit. So this will be great. They had this as well in like a sleep dress or like a nighty. Um, but I just really liked the sets to be honest, but absolutely adorable pattern with all the gingerbread and Christmas puddings and houses and everything, honestly. I love Christmas pajamas. I'll be living in these. So just a couple more clothing items to show you and then that's basically it, I think. So I got this dress. Um, this is in a size six and this was $30. I think this is super cute, super nice for summer. It's quite long. It comes down to oh, mid calf, I think. I reckon this would be so nice. It's super comfortable got these little puffy sleeves here which I absolutely love and this bit here come close is just that super super stretchy fabric which is always very flattering and then just yeah super lightweight really comfortable I think it would be great for going out in summer all right so please ignore the top this is just what I was wearing before and I could not be bothered styling this right now but I got these super cute shorts in this lovely green colour, which I am seeing absolutely everywhere. So I reckon it's going to be a huge colour for spring and summer over here in Australia. I already have a few things in this colour as well. I absolutely love it. And the next thing I'll show you as well is the exact same colour. Um, but these are just a linen blend, super, super stretchy, big elastic waistband. Um, there's also pockets. On both sides which is amazing so I can actually put stuff in there if I want to not that I will but yeah these are super duper comfortable they're a linen blend so they will be nice and breathable in summer as well but yeah I love these all right and lastly for clothing like I said this next item is the exact same green as the other one linen blend as well this is just a long midi skirt you can't really see it's got a slit in the side too um, again, super breathable, love the colour, just pair it with like a black or a white little crop top, singlet top, something like that, be super easy and this is something you can definitely dress up or down really easily too. I think both of these were, damn you, I think they were $20 each, potentially, just to put the tag on, yeah look. $20, each. A skirt, $20, and the shorts are $20. I don't know. I feel like everything I'm going to buy is going to be this colour. I've already bought another top recently that's this exact colour too. It's just so flattering. It's so nice. But yeah, love this too. All right, guys. So I do have one more thing to show you, but it is outside, so you will have to come with me. Um, this is something that I've built. Oh, it's my dog moving my tripod. <laughs> Um, I had to put this together myself and if you've noticed I have some band-aids from terrible terrible blisters from putting this thing together but I'm so happy with it and again this was from Kmart it was only $20 but come with me and I'll show you. I bought this wooden planter box so I really wanted a little herb garden it didn't come with the actual pot inside I had to get that myself but I put this together it says use a Phillips head screwdriver but please use a drill oh my god. All right, everyone. Well, that was everything for today. That was the last thing I had to show you outside. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Like, comment, let me know what you want to see more from me, I guess. More than happy to take on any kind of suggestions. Um, but hopefully you all have a good day and stay safe.